Welcome to State of the Game with Drynets and Photo Finish of Simp. In our inaugural episode, we'll be going over the maps of WGLNA. The maps that were removed, the maps that stayed, and the new maps for the season. The three maps that were removed from this season have been Prohorovka, Muravanka, and Cliff. The three old maps are uh, Himmelsdorf, Steps, and Roomberg. And then the three new maps for this season are Mines, Ghost Town, and Lakeville. The first map that was removed is Prohorovka. Um, this map was played quite a bit last season in the WGLNA, maybe even the most. Why do you think it was removed, Photo Finish? Uh, uh, one word, imbalanced. The eastern side of the map was almost totally unusable. That would force the attacking team to either push middle or push on the 1-2 line, which is the western side. And that's the reason I thought it was removed. Well, I definitely agree that the east needed work on that map. Do you like that it was removed, Photo? Uh, no, not really. But, I mean, I can understand why it was removed, because it was imbalanced. And, I mean, it was, like, one of our favorite maps. So I'm hoping that they'll bring it back at some point. I believe the plan is to add three new maps and remove three maps each season. Not 100% on that, but I think that's what they're doing, so here's to hoping they bring it back at some point. The uh, second map that was removed is Muravanka. Photo finish, why do you think this map was removed? I think uh, Mira was removed because the gameplay was very stagnant. And basically, for the attacker, uh, you would either push one two line or you would try and spot out from the base gap two and apply pressure on the defense that way but the defense usually like put a light tank in one of the bushes close to the southern cap and you would never spot this light tank i agree with you this map uh definitely resembled uh, how step played out a lot uh, either you tried to cap out one base and do it blindly or you tried to overpower the other base and it's just not good uh, gameplay to have two maps uh, that are pretty much the same type of strategies uh, being played on both of them. Uh, do you like that it was removed? I love that it was removed. I hated this map in league play and I absolutely hated it in standard battle. So I'm very happy to see Mirror removed. The uh, third and final map is Cliff. Photo finish, why do you think Cliff was removed? I think it was removed because the defense didn't have much of an advantage on that map at all, if any. It was really a coin flip as to where you were going to send your tanks, and uh, it just didn't work out most of the time for your, the defensive team. Attacking on the map was definitely easier to get to the top of the lighthouse, so any slow-paced games on the map, the attacking side did have the advantage. Uh, you could easily get overmatched if you sent tanks to the wrong area based on where they, the other team sent their tanks. So a lot of times a lesser team in that map would win, uh, just purely based off of uh, where they sent tanks at the beginning and not necessarily that they outplayed the other team. I like that the, you know, there was a chance of having like a good brawl in the map and that it finished quickly. Um, for me, it was absolutely a nightmare to try to call battles on because just sending tanks to the wrong area would cause losses, so I absolutely love that it was removed. Roomberg is the first of the old maps from last season. Do you like that uh, war game and decide to keep it? Yes, I thought that uh, Ruinberg was very dynamic. Like, he had multiple attacks and he had multiple defenses that you could do. So I like that he kept it. And, and what do you think could make this map better? I think the only thing that Wargaming could do is, like, move the locations of either the North Cap or the Southern Cap. Uh, I definitely think the Southern Cap was probably a little bit too easy to defend. How do you expect it to play out for the season? Pretty much exactly how it's been playing in previous seasons. I mean, Wargaming did flatten out the zero line, so it's harder for the defense to actually push on the zero line now. But I, I guess teams are adjusting. Uh, the only thing I see changing on the defensive side is perhaps teams going a little bit heavier just because uh, it is pretty easy to defend it. There's no reason to go super light and try to defend it anymore. The second map that remains from last uh, season is Steps. Steps went through some changes. Uh, the hills throughout the map were all lowered and, uh, and rounded to make it easier for tanks to travel across. And the northern part of the 7-8 line ridge was uh, lowered to 
make it so tanks can cross over without being seen. Do you like these changes, Photo? I like these changes. It gives the defense a harder time defending because last season it was very easy to defend on this map. Do you like that they kept this map in the rotation? I like that they kept this map because uh, now that with the changes, uh, you know, it, it gives the uh, attackers a better chance at, at winning. So I'm actually happy that they kept it. And how do you expect this map to play out this season? Um, I expect it to have like different tank compositions. In previous seasons, the composition was almost identical, like every game. Now, with the lowering of the ridges, I think that uh, you can actually bring different types of tanks. Himmelsdorf is the third and final map of the maps that remained from last season. This map also went through some changes, uh, the biggest of which is they moved the northern cap circle a little bit to the east to allow it to be capped out behind two of the different buildings. Uh, do you like the, these changes, and do you like that they kept this map in the league? Yes, I like the changes. I, the defense would be the same 90% of the time. And with these changes, I think that the defense is going to have uh, to adjust their playstyle. That's why I like that they kept this map. What could make this map better, and uh, what do you expect, uh, or how do you expect it to play out? Well, I expected uh, to... The only uh, thing they could do to this map is change the, the cap locations, which they did. So um, I don't know how this map is going to play out, so we just have to wait and see. Mines is the first of the new maps uh, to the league. Do you like this map as a league map photo? Yes, I like it. I remember the map in 7x42 being a really campy map on defense. Uh, do you expect it to have the same type of gameplay? No, I don't expect it to. In the previous um, formats, um, the cap was in the southern base. This time there is two caps, one on the 78 line and another one on the 3 line. So I don't expect like camping to actually work all that well for the defensive team. Hypothetically, if we move that eastern cap to the top of the hill, how do you think this map would play? I think that change would be huge because the defense would have to take control of the of the hill cap like every single game while the attacking team is going to have the option do we want to fight the defense at the top of the hill or do we want to take control of the three line ghost town is the second of the new maps that were added do you like this uh, map as a league map photo yes i like it wargaming actually created this map specifically for league play and uh from your experience how do you expect it to play this season I expect it to be very, very brawly, and I expect a lot of rotation from teams, and I expect it to be a very, very exciting map. Is there any changes on it that uh, you think will make it better? Well, uh, Wargaming actually made changes to this map before they released it to the public. They moved the northern cap a bit more to the east, and they also opened passageways that were previously inaccessible. For me, this map was designed to be symmetrical for both sides, to make it even. Um, but that center cap for me just kind of ruins that. Um, so I think that cap needs a mirror the cap on the north side. It'll probably be harder to defend that map, but it uh, seems like the right way to go with it, just based off uh, the symmetry of it. First league map that has three caps, what do you think? Mm, I think just two. Ah, uh, you know, fun. The last of the new maps is Lakeville. Uh, do you like Lakeville as a league map photo? Um, 50-50 on this map. It depends on how, it depends how much Simp actually wins on this map to determine how much I like it. So winning's the only thing that matters? Yes, it is. How do you expect uh, Lakeville to play out? I expect most teams are going to take control of the 4 line, which is the middle air, and take control of the city, which is the 7, 8, 9, 0 line. Um, I don't expect many, many teams to actually utilize the 1, 2 area. Yeah, this map is definitely the most complicated of the new maps. Uh, is there any changes on the actual map that you think uh, would make it better? Yes, I think moving the eastern cap more into the city would actually help change how this map plays because right now the defense can actually use one location to control two caps.
Yeah, I don't even think it needs to be moved that far into the city. Maybe just like a few meters to the north so it has a little bit more building cover. Um, that way the 2-3 line can't shoot at those tanks. Um, but yeah, I, I agree. It just needs to be a little bit more cover on that eastern cap.